Hi and welcome to Be Still and Know with me, Dr Micah Jazz. The word justice is often quoted across the media. Single issue causes attract a strong following and generate large income streams. Yet at times it's difficult to discover if the world in which we live is any more than just say, when I was a child. The word justice is often quoted across the media. Single issue causes attract a strong following and generate large income streams. Yet at times it's difficult to discover if the world in which we live is any more just than say when I was a child. The word itself isn't limited to our legal system. It conjures up ideas of fairness, equality, honesty and integrity. Yet how might any of us know the truth behind an agency's hype? Take the opportunity we have to offset our carbon emissions. It sounds simple, yet in practice it's a minefield. I've concluded that we all love the idea of justice, yet the price demanded of us is often too high to ensure we turn our aspirations into anything enduring. I was recently talking to someone who manages an asylum centre, and his instinct was that slavery within Britain was growing and that it operated in plain sight. We may speak of Wesley and Wilberforce and the movement that stopped the transatlantic slave trade, but to say slavery ended is false. Wherever there's money to be made, we will find injustice in both informal and institutional form. Once again, humanity's shared heart's desire for justice proves elusive in its implementation. Part of the problem is that we have little shared notion of what a just society might look like. It will take a massive collaborative conversation, followed by some very heavy lifting to determine then deliver a just society. However, we only have to look towards God. The benefit of an external reference point helps us hold our collaborative conversation. At root, Christianity invites people to love God and to love their neighbour to the degree that they love themselves. There are some challenges here, for we need to establish what sort of God we will follow. Personally, I'm all for one who came in search of all of us, out of a desire to remove contention and division, and create the opportunity for fairness. I also can see the benefit of putting other people's interests alongside, or, as St Paul suggests, above my own. A great way to slay the dragon of selfishness. God's way is a simple way. Two classic principles that when practiced transform the character of our social interaction. As God pointed out to Cain, we are our brother's keeper. A reminder that God invites us to live with God's way always in view. And one consequence is that, is that our happiness improves. As we enter into the God space today. The scale of reported injustice is insurmountable. What might you do? Take time to love God and care for your neighbours and build some snapshots of justice in action. Challenge yourself when unjust attitudes stir your heart and own them before God and turn from them. Amen. In my view, justice has also been commodified and is something today of a consumer product. Today's crisis will all too soon become tomorrow's forgotten and neglected cause. Now please do visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope and follow along with these daily meditations at home and join me this Sunday for Premier Life as well as for Be Still and Know throughout the week. But for now from me, Micah Jazz, it's goodbye and may the Lord richly bless you.